Hey guys, so I went to the doctor yesterday and we talked about where we would, where we would go from here with um, my treatment because as you guys know I was hospitalized twice because of the side effects from the treatment. It um, attacked my nerves it attacked my legs and it's also attacked my right hand. My fingers are numb. Um, it didn't attack my left, so that's good, but it attacked my right and the doctor doesn't know if that's going to be permanent or whether it'll get better over time. Um, the company who provided the drug actually had never heard of it um, attacking people's nerves so I guess I was just that lucky one who <laughs> had really bad side effects from the medicine so we actually decided that I would not go back on Zelbaraf. Um the side effects for me were just too bad for me to give it another try um, the thought of it attacking my nerves again was just really unsettling to me and I, I couldn't get past that so, um, so I've decided to not go back on Zelbraf. I am going to go back up to Mayo Clinic and there are a couple study drugs there available that I can get on so I'm going to go there and try to get on one of the study drugs so we'll see what I end up getting on and how it makes me feel but I also have to get a port put in um, it's just it's something that goes under your skin in your chest um, it's like a long-term IV source because I have really bad veins. I only have the left arm that they can get an IV from and my veins were really little to begin with and after almost five years of IVs and blood draws, my veins are just pretty much used up. So we've put it off long enough but the doctor and I both just feel like it's not worth putting off anymore. I should just get it and then they'll just be able to use that for all of my CAT scans I need or MRIs. Um, I even think blood draws, maybe. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. Even blood draws, they can use that, so that's good. I am... Um, I met with the doctor and we went over all of the possible risks. Um, I got this little pamphlet. He gave me this to go over. Um, here, let me read some of the side effects for you guys. Okay, I, I can't find it in this pamphlet, but um, there are risks when they do the procedure. I will be asleep. They will give me um, and I don't know how to say it, anesthetic, I think that's right, sorry if I just butchered that, I'm not sure, but yeah, they'll, they'll put me to sleep, and they will have to take a needle and pretty much poke around to find the vein that they're going to use, um, they're going to put this port in and there's a chance that they could like nick a lung while they're doing this. Um, I think I read it was like two to five percent of people that happens to. But if that happens I'll just have to stay um, one or two nights until the pun puncture or whatever heals. Um, there's also a chance that
that if that happens, my lung could, I could have a hard time. Um, it could want to collapse and then they would have to stick a tube in and pretty much reinflate my lung, which does not sound pleasant. And I really hope that doesn't happen because, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I have this scheduled for next Thursday. I, my surgery is at 815. I will have to be there at 6.15 in the morning. Early day for me. But I will hopefully be outpatient, or I will be outpatient. Hopefully nothing happens and I'll be able to go home that day. I hope that I'll be okay and I won't have to stay too long. Um, but yeah. That's been my last couple days. Finding everything out, getting everything all scheduled, so. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's everything. Um, I will make a video again next week after, after my surgery and let you guys know how it went, but I hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.